Go. It's your turn to do an intro. Oh. You want to see my gefilte fish? Nope. <laughs> Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. <laughs> I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on. And for more. Thank you for Follow our official. Ring the bell to go to the notification. You're going to think there's problems with your audio now. Thanks for that. There's not. Wrong. Audio. Hey, welcome back. What up? Uh, <laughs> what up? Moron. <laughs> uh, so, today. There it was again. I could. How do you do that? I'm talented. Uh, but this is called Ib Ibiquow. Ibiquow. <laughs> you corporatized <laughs> Yay! Somebody ring bells. Ibiquow. Ibiquow. Uh, phenomenal on such a small title. I love it. That just looks like a bunch Ibiquow. of Ibiquow. That just looks like a bunch of consonants. Uh, so that can't be a word. Uh, Ibiquow, Ibiquow is a is a boy hard of hearing and without speech. Dreams of playing in the Indian cricket team. When his condition hinders his selection, he asks a retired coach to train him. This is starring Shriyash Talapati and Nasiruddin Shah. Oh, cool. So, that's good. You like, is Nasiruddin Shah starring or supporting, or we don't know? I don't know. I'm get, I'm guessing by that thing, he's, yeah. the, he's the retired cricket player. The retired cricket, yeah, probably that's so. That's what I'm guessing. Cool. All right, ready? Three, two, yep. one, go. Indian team ko ek batsman ki zarurat hai bowler ki nahi kuch paane ki ho aas aas koi arma ho jo khas khas aasha hai wo apni zindagi ke kimti din barbaad kar raha hai do char khiladi lakhon kama leta hai to logon ko dhoka deta hai jo unka khel dekhne paisa de kar aata kya karega bowling sikke मैं अपने भाई को फिर से दुखी नहीं देखना चाहता इस देश के सबसे अच्छे खिलाड़ी भी सऊदन की वजह से ऊपर क्रिकेटर कोई किसान से कम मेहनत नहीं करता इकबाल के अब क्रिकेट लव से बड़ी नफरत करते हैं इकबाल की किस्मत में वो नीला यूनिफॉर्म लिखा है क्या That's sure it, does. It looks like an inspiring sports story. There's in obviously we've never <clears> seen like a cricket one like that outside of Lagan, but like we have those types of films here, like The Rookie, uh, or, right. or or right. good example, different different things like that, where it's like uh, somebody who wants to so or like Cool Runnings. It's more of a comedy, <laughs> but like yeah, uh, but like stuff like that. Um, so it's those are like very uplifting. And um, powerful can be, especially for like Nasseruddin's character, um, mm. and you know he's gonna bring it. He looks young here too. Uh, well, yeah. younger, younger. He, he's, I think he's perpetually old in my eyes. Um, but yeah, it, how'd it look to you? It looks really good. I mean, we obviously have a respect for him from the first day we ever saw him, which was in Deborah. And those which of you is, who don't know that. Which is like, like, I know. Like that's that's how we were introduced to Sarah yes, and Shaw yes. was the dad of Deborah. Of, those of you new to the channel, yes, we've seen a Wednesday, um, and because that was the immediately was like, no, you guys don't know. You need to see. Uh, but 
because he's in it, I'm obviously intrigued. Uh, I I loved right off the bat, like um, I love that we've been exposed to India and cricket enough that at the very beginning of the trailer, when there was just the three sticks in the ground, it had meaning. Yeah. You know, when we first started the channel, we wouldn't have known that that's cricket at first glance. Uh, and I love this story about any sport movie that's done well. Uh, we love, and I love this concept of this kid being being deaf and mute and still wanting to be a also, professional cricketer. If they didn't tell me that in the synopsis, I would not have picked up on that. Not until they said it. Not until yeah. they specifically said he's deaf. I wouldn't have picked up on that, no. Uh, and that, that was interesting. I do love a good sports movie. Sports yep. movies have their, their place. And <laughs> they can obviously... Shirt. What? Great shirt. I do love a good sports movie. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a weird shirt. Oh, that guy yeah, exactly. loves that guy loves sports movies. That's cool. Uh, it's the way it's phrased too. It's not just I love good sports movies. I do love a good sports movie. Sorry, right. off the rails. I do love a good sports movie. But yeah, it looks it looks really interesting. I would totally be interested in seeing this if if you guys say this is like um, a really good film to watch. Uh, one of the Saturday. What's like the Saturday? I know a Wednesday. We've seen it. Um, which his performance was really good. We didn't love that film as just us personally, um, but we we appreciate his performance. What's like his best? I think our current best for him is probably McBool, right? McBool, yeah. Where he and that other guy played the uh, what were they playing? Um, well, as far as far as the uh, um, the uh, um, Om Pori, sorry, the other guy, not not the yeah. other guy, it's Om Pori. <laughs> No, as far as the, the our favorite film we've seen him in, it would be McCool, yeah. And probably his best performance, wouldn't you say? Yeah, although I would say, you know, he was better for me. We didn't dislike A Wednesday. Well, I think we both, we if we went back and looked at the review, we liked A Wednesday. But it was more about our appreciation for, for him. Because yeah. we've never, of, of what we've seen of him, he's always been really, really good. And we knew the minute we saw him, we're like, dang, that's a, that's a legit actor right yeah, there. Yeah, he was in Deborah for like five minutes, and we were like, that guy is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. You, you know right when you see good talent, you can tell. Like, yes. it, it's, it's that obvious to a, to a trained eye, even, even to, an, I guess, to an untrained eye. Like, I think good acting is like, maybe it's not because I'm speaking for as an actor uh, because some people like some really crappy actors that I, I'm like how yeah, that's true how, how do you like those people I don't understand but uh, like it's it's quite obvious like even if a person is on screen for like four lines but you can tell when they're a really good actor absolutely you can like one of my favorite things to do is i've been watching a lot of Grey's anatomy with ashley and harrell yeah and i will regularly see the supporting people and there's some that most of the time they're, they're fine they're good but then there's somebody that comes on and i'll say two things about them the first thing i'll say is nice work nice work very quickly you can tell and then the next thing is i believe them i believe they're that person right there that's some really nice and you can t you absolutely can tell Within 30 seconds, you can tell if you're dealing with a strong actor or not. 100%. And as Harrod and Shaw, yep. the understatement of the year is a strong actor. Strong actor. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Harrod, if you're, if you're watching this, you are a strong actor, sir. In, yeah, in case you didn't know, we're here to tell you and affirm you and encourage you. Keep going, pal. You're going to go somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, once again, let us know, one, about this film. But also, uh, what other Nasserd and Shaw films, like well, his best performance and his best films? Because uh, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he doesn't have a bad performance. I can't. I, I do I, too. In my mind, I cannot picture that man giving a bad performance. It's yeah. he's, he's one of those actors that it was just like it. It, it would boggle my mind to see that man <laughs> like do something like how I saw st some people act in Deb Das. Uh, like it just, it would boggle my mind. <laughs> You know how I feel about that. <laughs> no comment. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> Anyways, let us know about this film down below, please. Thank you. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the